Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achano and welcome to an update video about the future of game programming. So for those of you who don't know somehow, game programming is a series on my channel that has been going since October 2012. I think it was October at least, but late 2012. So it's been three years now, okay? That's why I'm doing the update video. Um, it's been three years, it's time to reassess the goals of that and it's time to uh, maybe change the direction of that a little bit and change up the content on my channel because I like to constantly evolve, I like to constantly make this channel a better place, and um, and I really like keeping you guys in the loop with that. So yes, we're going to talk about game programming today. Um, so first of all, one of my concerns with game programming is that since it's been three years, a lot of people um, have dropped off, right? Obviously, a lot of new people have appeared and... Um, and they've watched a, a fair chunk of it. But the problem right now is that it's a series that is getting outdated, right? It's getting outdated, but it's also, um, it's just a series that has been gone on for three years, okay? Not many people follow that, all right? If I had to guess someone who is actually still here that was following it from 2012, I'd probably just maybe say a few hundred people, maybe a couple hundred people, okay? That's probably it. Okay, it might even be lower than that, who knows. Um, now, a lot of new people come in, they start watching the episodes, and um, and that's all good. But the problem is, there are like over 100 episodes, right? They're like, they're like 120 episodes. So the problem with that is that anyone who basically drops into the channel or searches something, um, or really any of you guys who want to learn about a particular thing, you'll watch a video such as like episode 100, for example, and you're like, oh, I wanna, I wanna integrate the A-star search algorithm, right? Um, you watch the video and then you're like, hang on a minute, I can't really watch this video before I watch the previous 100 videos to get up to this point, right? It requires a fair bit of work to actually be able to integrate something from those videos because they're so specific to game programming. And if you haven't been following along closely, um, that's a really big problem. That means that you basically can't watch the video. So all these people, instead of watching the game programming videos, they're like, oh man, Cherno up uploaded another game programming video. It's episode 121. That reminds me, like, I'm only up to episode 87. I better I better hurry up and, and watch all the other ones. And then they, they don't watch the video. And what ends up happening, <coughs> excuse me, what ends up happening is those videos get a lot less views than other videos of mine. And, um, and they just don't generally do so well. And I believe that the reason behind that is the fact that it requires a, just a hundred prerequisites, basically, right? It, it requires this huge uh, three-year span of videos that you have to watch, uh, some of which you don't really care about, but you still have to watch them to get up to this video. And that's a really big problem. And that's gonna be a problem with any series, right? That's why I kind of cut the Sparky series at 25 episodes. I thought that would be enough to to see um, the engine uh, and the basis for it, even though it has changed a lot since then. But uh, enough to see the, the basis of that and then the rest would just be streamed um, and uh, update videos or devlogs would come out and I'm actually working on them. So Sparky devlogs and whatnot are on the radar, don't you worry. But um. Yeah, so that's that was kind of my idea, right? And streams are really good for long content because people people don't necessarily watch them to actually take down code or anything. They just kind of watch them to see some development, see some uh, you know tips and tricks I might I might discuss and whatnot. Um, and you know they they've got an entirely different purpose. But a series which people which is intended for people to, to follow step by step, which happens to be over hundred episodes long, is really a bit weird. It's it's something that requires a lot of commitment and I'm betting that only 1% of people who stumble across this channel are willing to actually watch all, all 120 episodes and uh, and learn about that. Obviously for those, it is a very good resource, but you know, I have to think about the majority here. So it, it's becoming difficult. Now I'm not saying I'm going to just end game programming. That's, that's not gonna happen, right? I'm going to have to finish it at one point. Um, and I do plan on doing that. But the idea that I have is actually splitting up the video into, or rather, when I'm approaching game programming, instead of approaching it with this really specific technical stuff that basically get put into that little engine we've got there, 
I'm going to actually try and make standalone videos which cover the topics of game programming. So what I mean by that is that there's a there's a great example that um there's a great example that actually is about to happen because uh, last game programming episode that I put up, I actually asked you guys if you wanted me to implement a proper event system into the engine essentially so that we could actually get proper event re- uh, so that we could get events being being properly um, reported uh, instead of having to because it's getting to the point where it's getting a bit messy to always be like hey is this happening rather than you know being essentially um, uh, told when, when an event has occurred such as a mouse click or anything like that. And because we're kind of getting into layers now as well, layers and events really do go hand in hand. So I asked you guys if you wanted me to implement a proper event system. A lot of you said yes. So an event system is something that is very generalized, right? It's something that will apply to more than just game programming. And when I when I started making that video, the event system video for game programming, I thought, you know, it's a bit of a shame to just throw it away almost on, on game programming, because I know that like not many people are going to watch this because they're going to be like, Oh, I need to watch 122 episodes or whatever to get up to this. Um, or I need to watch however many, well, you, you, you guys kind of get the point here. Um, and I thought it would be kind of a shame. So I thought instead what I might try and do is I would make a standalone video where essentially I implement the event system from, from scratch, right? That way anyone could follow along with it right? It's going to be some basic event system. Um, it's going to be implemented essentially from scratch. Okay. And then I'll have a short game programming episode where I just basically just copy and paste that in, right? So that you get like these sort of modules, which you can apply to your own projects easily, because it's going to be like literally just like a technical demonstration of how that works, as well as the minimum code required, which would be posted to something like GitHub. Um, and you'll see like, Eventually, I'll build up like this library of examples for many different things, right? That's the idea. So standalone videos are something that I've wanted to do for a while, for those of you who have followed my channel. And I think that I'm going to start doing them now because I think it's going to benefit the channel a lot and it's going to be um, very, very uh, useful for all of you guys as well. So that's the plan. Uh, So expect an event kind of technical video. (laughs) um, standalone video coming soon as well. So the other thing I wanted to do is since I'm going to mainly make videos on the technical topics of game programming standalone, right? Um, the actual series, I believe, or I think right now will focus more on the game. Okay. Because the game's not really moving forward too much. We're making a lot of kind of low level changes and we're kind of changing up a lot of things instead of actually, Um, I mean, we're adding important things like UI. That was the big thing we just added. Um, and that's pretty much complete, but I feel like the game needs to move forward. Now, since we're going to be working more on the game, um, I'm actually getting some help with the art. Okay. So I've got an artist, uh, working on, uh, improving the graphics and whatnot so that we actually have a bit of a better game. Right. And I want to actually take this kind of to the next level and, and actually have like a little package that we can, um, essentially have ready and basically release, right? Um, I'm not really going to release it as a game, but um, I want it to be in the state that it essentially is a shippable game. Okay, that that's the end goal of game programming. Um, so if any of you as well want to help with art or uh, anything like that, just drop a comment, let me know. You can contact me uh, on Twitter, for example. Um, and, uh, and we can talk about that because I really want to, uh, kind of get this out of the way, to be honest. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's basically the future of game programming. I want to, so in summary, I want to convert the more technical aspects of the series into standalone videos so that everyone can watch them. I want to, uh, focus on making the game rather than making, you know, the technical components of the engine and whatnot. Um, and I want to add some next level art and assets to it to improve, uh, basically the look of it and make it a nice polished game. So that is the idea. If you guys have suggestions for gameplay and whatnot as well. Um, yeah, again, hit me up on Twitter. Maybe I can get a designer into this, uh, and we can actually, uh, make a small team to finish this because, um, you know, it requires more than just, um, an engineer or a programmer to, uh, to make the game. So yes. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. 
And um, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.